What is going on everyone? This is your man King May coming back with you all right here in the King May YouTube channel. Y'all, if you like today's video, make sure you go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed right here to the King May community, make sure you go ahead and smash that little red button now for me. But anyways, we are back in Mercer County, y'all, and uh we have another busy day as always, but we are in the dodge and we currently have our liquid uh fur tank gooseneck trailer here and we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna pull on into mcdonald's here by the old home depot and then we need to get back out into the fields all right sir and that's gonna be three big macs two cheeseburgers one sobe two colas and five mcchickens anything else for you today no that'll be it um can i also get a nice coffee on top of that actually that'll be it yeah i certainly can we'll get to that'll be uh 1595 please follow up to the first window absolutely all right thank you have yourself a good one. Oh my goodness um i don't i don't want to talk about my order it, yes it's very large I, uh, anyways we're gonna get on with our day here we're gonna go ahead and head on down to the co-op here on the way back and we need to load up with some uh well mostly water but we're gonna do a water furt mix uh, i've already got it calculated out for the sprayer we need to get some spraying done here today we got pretty much all of our fields sprayed but we got three left that we need to do and it should go fairly quick with our john deere 120 foot boom so after that though we need to get back out in the field we have some uh chopping that we need to get done with the grass to make sure that we continue stocking over that silage here for the, the winter time when we get our cattle all right we're just pulling out a nutrient ag solutions here in mercer and we are completely completely topped off here with this trailer and my goodness this dodge is handling it very well anyways we're gonna head on back to the farm pull this on up to the sprayer we're gonna get out in those fields and i'll catch up with you all after a bit all right we just got on back to the farm here we're gonna hop on up in the 4940 john deere sprayer getting her all fired up here we better let her sit for just a minute everything should be ready to go i i checked it when we got back from spraying the other day i just got one more soybean left to do and we got another field on over there with our silage corn that we need to finish spraying as well and we're going to be all completely done with spraying here this early summer We'll have to take a look at the fields and see if we need to do another spraying later on. But we we hit it pretty early here in Mercer, so we're sitting rather well. Backing on up, though, we're going to go and pull on up and we're going to refill the sprayer. We're going to head on out to the field here. All right, we made it out to the field here. We're all lined up, got the GPS turned on, and we're going to head to town on the spray. Now, taking a look at it, the only reason why I would want to do another spray later on this late summer would be or herbicide application uh, but i don't know it's it's hard to determine as of right now i i would like to test out the new landall weeder that we do have on the farm so we'll see when late summer comes along we'll diagnose the fields as the year progresses here and we're heading on down the field here last strip we are reaching it it was literally literally two stripes and we got this field pretty much wrapped up this is a smaller one but it's going to be a pretty good field for us here for the silage corn this year. All right, we're all folded up. Let's head on to the next field now. All right, we finished up with that last soybean field there, and we are all done with spraying here on Mercer for the year. We're going to go ahead and get the sprayer back. We're going to get her power washed later on, but for right now, anyways, we need to get back after chopping up that haylage. So we're going to head on down the road with the chopper box, and, well, we, we need to empty out the other three chopper boxes first. We got them all full sitting over at the field and the one is over here already unloaded so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do that and then i'll meet you guys back out at the field as we're pulling around the field i figured i'd kind of update you guys with some of the new toys that we have here on the farm we ended up grabbing ourselves a case 2150 planter here well we are going to go ahead and rock that with our kinsey 3600 16 row planter here on mercer and we did upgrade a tractor as well that i'm sort of excited to show you guys well actually i should say a couple we ended up grabbing ourselves a case magnum 380 so we're going to use this one heavily here for planting and weeding and probably just a few other miscellaneous chores here i'm contemplating whether or not we keep the 8520t i do like that two track and 
I don't know. I'm contemplating whether the uh, the new tractor that's out of the field already, if we put duels on that one and use that for the auger cart or the case or the 8520. I'm not really sure. Um, I would like to keep this tractor for planting, but the other new addition that I'm excited to show you guys, we might be able to just use that one as well for planting. But as we're hopping in the old 7820, I, I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think. Now, just hold on tight though. Let me let me show you the new addition to the farm. And then you guys let me know down in the comments below what y'all think. Should we get rid of the 8520T, the two track? Should we get rid of that and just go ahead and put duels on in the in the fall time for running the auger cart on this new addition down here or what? You guys let me know. All right, we're pulling on into the entrance here. And you guys, this is the new addition here to the farm. We're going to go ahead, hop out, pull the pin on this chopper box here. There we go. Got her all disconnected, but there she is. We got ourselves an 8530 John Deere. And this one came in from my man, Dennis Motti. And you guys, I love, love, love this tractor so far. It is going to be a phenomenal addition to the farm. We ended up getting rid of the all-wheel assist 7810, and we just kept the two-wheel drive. So I'm thinking the main tractors for doing our animal work around the farm is going to be the 7810, the 4440, and the 6410. We're going to utilize those tractors heavily for majority of the smaller work and hay work but so far that 8530 is doing a phenomenal job with hay work as well so i don't know i'm trying to condense down a little bit but i'm also trying to uh, make sure that we got the correct horsepower around the farm when we need it so i don't know you guys are gonna have to help me out down in the comments below what y'all think but so far i'm absolutely loving that tractor here but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna empty out the rest of these chopper boxes and get out here and get to chopping the rest of this haylage up here. All right, pulling on in the field with the last card here. We're going to go ahead, hop in that 8530, get backed on up, and hook on up to that trailer. All right, we got the old 8530 warmed up, backed her up, got the old chopper box hooked up, and we are back to work out in the field here, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and keep pounding out the acres here on mercer and i'll catch up with y'all after a bit here as we're moving along here things are looking pretty good y'all but the like i said earlier I, the only reason why i'm thinking about getting rid of that 8520 i'm just not a huge fan of the two track i do love that tractor it has great engine sound to it but we do have the scale in here as well so it would definitely be pretty easier for us to go ahead throw duels on this thing i could just get a set of duels here for the fall time when it comes and uh i don't know i i think this tractor would do just fine hooked up to our old kinsey auger wagon and i just need help deciding i suppose i'm trying to condense down and get rid of tractors sell them off that we don't need and make sure that we keep the proper amount of horsepower around here that we do need for mercer because at least for some of the equipment i'd like to keep it a little bit on the bigger side just so we have that horsepower to run a little bit more efficient when it comes to the field work but of course also keep our smaller horsepower tractors around as well for hay work as well as the miscellaneous chores around the farm all right y'all so as we continue down the field here i would say we're about halfway done or so we just got to work our way back on down we are on chopper box in the number two here but we're going to continue watching the scales here and loading up on our silage here you guys but anyways we're going to call this one a video y'all thank you so much for watching today if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead smash that thumbs up button for me and of course if you haven't yet subscribed to the king make community please go ahead and do that now for me but anyways we're going to catch you on the next one have a great weekend everyone peace